did you know at one point in U.S. history, the Germans dominated the United States? Um, not those Germans. I'm talking about the German honeybee. Also known as Apis mellifera mellifera, these German honeybees are known for being some of the rowdiest bees, much like Germans at Oktoberfest. Guten Tag and welcome to today's video. I'm the beekeeping scholar and today we are going to be diving into the German honeybee. We'll be going over a bit about their history and their pros and cons, but primarily their cons, as you're about to find out. These German bees have been domesticated for thousands and thousands of years and has been used in a variety of different countries and used across the planet. German honeybees were the first bees that were introduced to the Americas and in North America they were brought over by pilgrims in the early 1600s. These bees were the primary bee for almost 200 years until the Italian bee came and dominated the industry due to their exceptional productive behavior. German bees, however, due to the lack of genetic diversity in the Americas, there was an outbreak of certain pests that actually heavily contributed to the downfall of the German bees. This is actually causing concern in the modern era as the Italian bee is extremely prominent and they are becoming more susceptible to certain pests and issues due to the lack of genetic diversity. Alright, hopping back to the Germans, that is the last time Italians will be mentioned in this video, I promise. Maybe we'll see. But back to the Germans. Let's look at some pros. The first pro of the German bee is that they are able to overwinter very well as they adapted very um, specifically to the modern day German region in Europe and they adapted to the cold winters very well. This comes from them being very conservative during the winter period as they are able to store a lot of resources and they are able to generate heat at an efficient rate with some of the other benefits that German bees have, there honestly aren't very many things that stand out. They are viewed as being okay honey producers, and they also have decent swarming tendencies. But that is really kind of everything when it comes to the positivity of the German bees. There is a reason that they fell out of fashion. So let's hop into those reasons. One of the first primary issues with the German bee is that they are not very gentle. They tend to be more aggressive and much more defensive. Their spring buildups aren't very efficient. They have a low uh, starting brood and they aren't able to capitalize properly on the early spring flows. Their pollinating abilities are not as efficient as other types of bees. And like I said before, their honey production is typically just viewed as being okay compared to others, but probably on the lower end. These bees in their purest form are actually incredibly rare. Their genetic material, however, still exists inside of Russian, Carnolian, and Caucasian bees from being mixed and breeded over hundreds and hundreds of years of human involvement. The primary reason I would see anyone ever use German bees would be because they live in a very north region, they have very cold winters, and they have had little success with other bee variations that are resistant to cold. This is probably one of your best options when it comes to cold resistance as that is their biggest and probably only true benefit that these bees have over others. So if you live in like more northern parts of I don't know, Canada, if you are all the way up there, even like some northern states of like Mo Montana, Maine, what have you, things that have much harsher winters, I would definitely potentially recommend having these bees. I think there are some other options I'll explore in future videos. Uh, first one that comes to mind being Russian bees. They are very well adjusted for winters as well with different added benefits which I will get into in the future. For the vast majority of the population though, I would definitely not recommend this bee. I think there are definitely other varieties that are better suited for different environments. Thank you for sticking around. I appreciate you. Feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Please leave a comment below. Let me know how you felt. And let me know if there's any videos in particular that you'd like to see in the future. Peace out and have a beautiful day. And make sure to be awesome.